Good morning, everyone. How was the reception last night? Did you all have fun? Great. Great. It was fantastic. It was fantastic. Fantastic. For those that do not know me, my name is Jacqueline Cole Atkins. I work with the State Department, and I've been coordinating along with my colleagues at the Meridian International Center uh, this summit uh, for you all. So I'm really glad to finally see your faces. We've gone through the bios. We worked with, with the embassies to bring you here. So to see you live and in the flesh has been such an honor. For those who I have not met, please, during the course of the day, let's take time to introduce each other. I will be with you all in Chicago. So I want to see how you all are now, because I think you'll be in a completely different place two weeks from now when we come back together again. So really quickly, we have a couple of housekeeping notes that I want to go over. I wanted to show you all some information I got from the State Department yesterday. It's a slide about our tweeting. So I, I heard that there's a, a few competitive people in the room. Is that true? Do we have a few com people that like to win in this room? I'm just curious. I heard that we might have a football match later today. Even. Yeah. Yes. All right. So r what you'll see here is these are the tweets about AGOA and the Young African Leaders Initiative. So the, the AGOA is in blue and we would be in red. Do I have to tell you all what that, what that slide means? So the, I, I, like, I like us to be on top. So I've seen a couple people here have been tweeting faithfully. We wanted to let you all know if you're more comfortable tweeting in your local language, if you want to tweet in Amharic and Yoruba and Hausa and Bemba, whatever makes the most sense for you. But we want you all to talk about your experience, talk about your countries. We want people to be following you. So when you go out to your nine different cities that you can tell people, you don't know who we are. We've, we've been deputized by the Secretary of State. If you go to Twitter and you look at hashtag Young Africa, you can find out all about us. So can we make a commitment today that we're gonna go out and tweet, we're gonna go on our Facebook page, and we're gonna tell people our story? Yes? Okay. I have one more announcement. If we go to your Facebook page, we've um, uploaded the link to the Presidential Policy Directive on Africa that Grant Harris mentioned. So if you all have comments that you want to make, you can read the document there and then list your comments on the Facebook page, and we will have a chance to, an opportunity to discuss that when we get to Chicago. So with that, I want to introduce your first speaker for today, Bonnie Shaw. Is this working? Great. Hi, folks. Welcome. So uh, I just, I'm going to change things up a little bit this morning. Um, I'm, uh, I'm Bonnie Shore, I'm the director of strategy from a company called iStrategy Labs, based here in DC. You can find me at Bonsai. Uh, ISL is a digital agency. We, um, we create uh, great campaigns, websites, we run big festivals, we do all sorts of stuff that has uh, a manifestation online and offline. Uh, we also uh, have the opportunity to work with some great brands, uh, with local, state, and government agencies, with global nonprofits, and uh, local grassroots community organizations. We also do a lot of community building work in the entrepreneurship community here in DC, and really uh, are very focused on building a, a really strong community between entrepreneurs. Um, and so really, I think uh, it's super exciting that you guys are all here, and I'm, I'm really pleased to have the chance to, to hang out with you this morning. I had a chat to a few people um, uh, this morning as we were setting up, um, and I, I understand that, um, that you guys would really like to get a sense of who everybody is in the room um, and really kind of hear from each other. So today, uh, this morning, is really uh, a chance for you guys to, to talk and share. So. I'm going to keep my, my presentation to the bare minimum and really hand this over to you guys. So um, the first exercise that we're going to do, and I hope everybody's had some coffee and is wide awake, ready to rock. The first exercise we're going to do, and Katie, if you can come up and give me a hand. Um, we are going to do some really quick introductions to everybody in the room. So we're doing a short session this morning, so I'm going to ask you to keep this super brief. A uh, couple of rules. You're going to introduce yourself with your name 
and title, and then three words that describe you. So keep this super short. You're going to have 20, 30 seconds max. So this isn't a big uh, introduction. This is you, your title, and three words. So uh, for me, I would be Bonnie Shaw, the director of iStrategy Labs. And my three words would be Australian, strategy, and awesome. <laughs> so we're going to start over here with you, sir. Um, and just, just so uh, we're clear, we're going to start uh, an, an individual on this side, and then Katie has a mic that she's going to hand out. And so we're going to go back and forth, back and forth, keep it quick, and I'm going to crack the whip if, uh, if we get a little lengthy. So take it away. Good morning. <laughs> My name is Marlon. I'm jumpy. <laughs> I'm handsome. And not quite so lumpy. <laughs> go ahead. Sir, and you can just stay in your seat. Um, okay, you don't need, need to take center stage. Morning. Uh, my name is Mozi from Swaziland. Uh, I'm a life coach, and the three words that would describe me is young, uh, passionate, and extraordinary. Thank you. Wonderful. Go ahead. I'm Doreen Dasa from Ghana, and I'm the execu executive director of um, Dream Environment. I'm Dori Dasa from Ghana. I'm the executive, executive director for um, Dream Environment. I'm hard work and intelligent, and I'm beautiful. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Let's keep it going, folks. No time for being polite. Just stand up if you've got the mic. Go ahead. Uh, I'm Hallelujah Luli. I'm not jumping. Uh, uh, I am uh, passionate, I'm positive. And I am patriot. Wonderful. Who's next over here? Um, um, Wafat Razik. Um, I'm production manager, and I'm energetic, enthusiastic, and I'm Sudanese. Welcome. I'm Aisha. I'm aggressive, <laughs> assertive, <laughs> and I'm sweet. <laughs> Hi, I'm Karim. I'm Karim from Mauritius. I'm uh, inventive, creative, and brilliant. <laughs> I'm Simba Mungu from uh, Zimbabwe. Um, three words that describe me, I think, um, assertive, uh, resilient, and creative. Go ahead. My name is Sarah from Madagascar. I'm a trusty relationship. I'm a Girl Scout, I'm fun. <laughs> uh, Joaquin from Angola, I am very observant, calm, and intelligent. I'm Marusia from Uganda, I'm the manager for Ori Bags. I'm patriotic, I'm aggressive, and creative. Excellent, we got a lot of creative people in the room. I'm Fatma Jallo. I'm from Sierra Leone. I'm a director owner of three private companies. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> okay, I'm hardworking, I'm assertive, and always positive. But I didn't see you. <laughs> I'm Ali Umaru. I'm chairman. I'm lovely. <laughs> <laughs> and dynamic. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, my name is Clarice Irivajiza, and I'm the CEO of Hehe he Limited. Uh, three words that describe me are, uh, I'm a geek, um, uh, I'm beautiful, apparently, <laughs> but a little shy. Yeah. Go ahead. All right, morning, everyone. My name is Ken Wanda. I'm the managing director and co-founder of uh, Immobilist. I would describe myself as a risk taker a rock star and humble. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, take those two back. Uh, just <laughs> uncontainable and uh, exciting. Thanks. Great. Pass it on to your next one. I am Tierno Diallo, a journalist from Guinea, communicator, reporter, youth activist. Hi, my name is Tapang, and I'm from Botswana, Treasury Sales Manager for Barclays Bank. I am young, I am African, and I am phenomenal. 
Hello, my name is Curtis. I'm from Benin. I'm an uh, operations general manager at APM Terminals. A few words to describe me. I'm focused, dynamic, and very impatient. I'm Patricia. I'm from DRP. I'm the future opera, African opera. And uh, I'm, I'm, I have uh, my agency marketing experience and uh, agency. I have my own magazine, International Working Lady. Okay, and uh, also in September, I will launch my Way TV show about the African young leader. I'm clever, I'm beautiful, I like dress. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm fashionable, like American woman. <laughs> Excellent, that was a little more than three words. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Arthur from Makerere University in Kampala, Uganda. I'm happily married, passionate, electrical engineer. Go ahead. My name is Mohamed Njai from, from the Gambia. I'm a senior executive at Bank PHB Gambia in the financial control department. I'm efficient, effective, and creative. Great. Morning. My name is Philip Jandiri. I'm from Burkina Faso. I'm a sales manager in the communication agency. I do describe myself like being unstoppable in any situation. Go ahead. Uh, my name is Limbikani Makani from Zimbabwe with company Texem. I'm a creative, uh, a little restless, um, and patient. And sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else on the other side? I'm Smile Omar from Djibouti. Uh, Stand up for us. I'm Smail Omar from Djibouti. Uh, I'm owner of a restaurant. I'm a hard, hard worker. Uh, married and uh, <laughs> excuse me and uh, and uh, focus on, on on how to grow my, my own business. Wonderful. Hello, I am Manasseh Matiang from South Sudan, the CEO of Marketing Solutions Limited. I am tall, <laughs> dark, <laughs> and. Morning, everyone. I'm Gasso from Central African Republic. Uh, free work. I'm smart, passionate, and hard worker, pretty much. Uh, Addis Alam from Ethiopia. All my three words would have to be passionate, so I'm passionate, passionate, and more passionate. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Awu Job Sila from Senegal. I'm a student in science department. I'm also a youth activist. The three words, um, I'm open mind, I learn very quick, and I'm passionate. Hamad Ali from Sudan. Three words would be, I'd carry the name of the boxer, so I'm strong. I'm detail-oriented, and I'm highly ethical in my job. Hello, everybody. I'm Diomi Mubasongo from uh, Gabon, Central Africa. Uh, three words that, that describe me, values, wisdom, black, and sometimes green. <laughs> <laughs> we have 80% of forest in Gabon. Morning, everyone. I'm Ericsson from Namibia, founder of Talamo Foods. Three ways to describe me. <laughs> I'm a, so <laughs> I'm a so sourceman, innovative, and solution-oriented. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, my name is Penifa. I'm a journalist from Zambia. I find it so hard to describe myself because I've got so many attributes and I'm putting them in. <laughs> <laughs> it's like really difficult. I wish I had more. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should try this. I should try this. It's being multi talented that gives me the problem like that. Well, in any case, I'm uh, short. I wear heels. And very, I, I'm one of those people who dream big. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Matilda from Guinea Bissau. I'm a value chain development advisor. I'm a passionate development practitioner. I'm result oriented. I'm creative and open minded. Wonderful. Who you got, Katie? 
Oh, okay. Uh, Pierre Yurugu, I am not that young. Uh, <laughs> uh, three things. Perception drive decision making. And um, my own objective is to try to change the way people perceive Africa. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jacqueline Mkindi. I'm the executive director of the Tanzania Horticultural Association, Taha. Three words that describe me. I'm a great leader, I'm focused, and I'm intelligent. Yeah. Wonderful. Good morning, everyone. This is Andrew S. Kiahui from the Republic of Liberia. I'm committed, energetic, and hardworking. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Rama Huana Matosa. I'm from the kingdom of Lesotho. I am alive, awake, and single ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Harry Stratton Genesis. I'm coming from Tanzania, working with the Barclays Bank, Tanzania. Three words that can describe me. I'm young, hardworking, and flexible. <laughs> Greetings and good morning. Uh, my name is Jared Ellis. Uh, I might be the first American to stand up here and, and, and speak. Um, I'm not sure, I kind of walked in a little late. But in any case, um, three words to describe myself is uh, are adventurous, uh, charismatic, and uh, driven. Driven. Peace. Well, my name is Nakarutimana Jean-Claude. I am from Burundi. I'm the executive director and the co-owner of Computer Services Company. Three words to describe me is I am hopeful, creative, and hard worker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I am Adon Maji from the Republic of Congo, Brazzaville. Three words, inspirational, charming, and charismatic. Bom dia. Bom dia. Tudo bem? Tá bom, tá bom. If you don't know me by now, you don't belong in this room. <laughs> I am the Mozambican, also known as Jose. Yeah? Three words to describe me. Just do it. Yeah. Just do it. <laughs> Okay, my name, good morning everyone. My name is uh, Landry Cuyo from Ivory Coast. And I am a legal advisor, fashion designer, and editor. I am passionate, positive, and hard worker. Thank you. Great. Uh, I'm probably the first person from India here. Um, three words. Um, excited, and then tall, dark, and handsome, and not single. <laughs> Hi. I'm uh, Kono Anise from Didier Drogba's country. Yeah. 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 Be quiet. <laughs> okay, I'm Lucy Shang, and I'm great uh, in my country the authority of regulation of catering and food trades. Free words, go ahead. Nicely done. Good morning. 
I am Eileen Barbosa, I'm an advisor to the Prime Minister of Cape Verde. I am a writer, I am practical, I am musical. Wonderful. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jay Nawachu. I am Nigerian, but I am based here local in the Washington, D.C. area. Um, three words to describe me. I kept scratching them off and writing new ones. Um, I am a motivator. I am a servant leader, and at the moment, I am tired. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Fitzame Tafara from Ethiopia. Uh, I'm a children's book publisher. Uh, I'm a writer, uh, hardworking, and... Okay, <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Vishal Patel. Um, I'm the Youth Trade Project Coordinator. I'm coming from Boston. Uh, is it on? Yeah. Um, my three words are I'm eager to learn, passionate about life, and hardworking. I think that was maybe nine words. <laughs> <laughs> Who's counting? I'll take this. Thanks. Hi, everyone. My name is Rachel, and I'm from Malawi. I'm a mother who is determined and zealous. Okay, we'll keep going on this table. Can I see a show of hands of people that just came in? A couple on over here? Okay, go ahead. Hi, everybody. I'm Hanan Muta from Chad, Customer Service Director at Atel. It's a um, telecom company. I'm traditional, unique, and sexy. Yeah. <laughs> what? Morning. My name is Innocentia Motau. For those who are still making noise, missed my name. <laughs> I am from South Africa and I am an entrepreneur. I'm in the logistics business. And um, the three words that describes me is that it's chutzpah. I'm passionate about everything. And I'm hardworking. Terrific. Hello everybody, my name is Hassan Sek. I am the founder of uh, Janoa. Uh, three words, I am uh, hardworking, uh, ambitious, and stubborn. Go ahead. Okay, hi everybody. I'm Atute Mawinya Mevo from Togo, the best country of the world, West Africa. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Um, <laughs> any problem with that? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, um, I'm um, the territory manager of Unilever Togo, and what else? I'm a believer. Uh, <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> and what else? Um, I'm, I'm determined to make it in life, and... I, I, I love I love meeting pe new people from unfamiliar background. background. Oh, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> he, he oh, give, yeah, give him yeah. a little break. I, he I came just in. Arrived, you know, and <laughs> three words okay. to describe you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So the, the people that just one second the people that did come in a little late. Your name, your title, and uh, three words that describe you. We're going to hand over to this gentleman first. François Xavier Kabemba is me. I'm from the Democratic Republic of Congo. I'm working with Global Broadband Solution as a commercial project a director, and uh, I'm the young African leader. There you go. <laughs> go ahead. Hi, everybody. My name is Kamsu Swobu Jacqueline, and I'm from Cameroon. I'm the founder of um, Beat Space, uh, that is um, a common initiative group that does uh, crafts and art. And um, three words that describe me, I am traditional, I am creative, and very hardworking. Great. <laughs> I'm Shagun, good morning. I'm Shagun Shetol Michael from Nigeria, <laughs> the CEO of Brave Art Entertainment Culture. Um, I can be very, very crazy with ideas, <laughs> motivating, and funny. 
All right, so I think we have two people left in the room. A couple more? All right, guys, one of you guys need to take this mic from me. Yeah, one of them. <laughs> You're on the spot. Name, title, and three words. Ah? Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name's Amwaka Mkwasa. I come from Zambia, the football African champions. Um, <laughs> I should be very proud to say and re-emphasize that I am the youngest at this forum. I am the spokesperson for my uh, organization, of which I am suing State Department because we are also called <laughs> because we are also called Young African Leaders Initiative. And three uh, words that describe the you. problem with me is I can't describe myself in three words. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you <laughs> because I talk a lot because. I believe that young people seated in here are the ones who have the power to turn imagination into common purpose. All right. So that's why I said I can't describe myself in three words. It's very hard. Okay. Thanks. Good morning, my neighbors. I am a shoemaker from Ghana. The bastion of democracy. My name is Tony Senaya, and I'm um, the CEO of Horseman Shoes, a local footwear manufacturing company. You can Google that if you have time. Three ways to describe me. I think I am open-minded, I am affable, and I am a patriot to my nation and to my continent. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My name is Kenneth Uliko. I am a Nigerian. I'm the co-founder and managing partner of Aranke Consulting, and I volunteer with the African Union. Three words that describe me, I am innovative, determined, and passionate. Great. <laughs> I'm, I'm Rinda Andiamuri from Madagascar. I work for myself as a consultant in uh, web marketing, digital, identity and uh, social media. I'm, I'm hard working, passionate in technology and uh, <coughs> like to take initiatives. Okay, my name is Abib Fall from Mauritania. I'm the owner of a communication marketing and IT solution business called Oxygen. That's what I do. I bring oxygen to the other companies. And uh, three words, yes, we will. <laughs> Nicely done. Are there any other people that popped in a little later? Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Fatima Osman. I'm from Somalia. Uh, I'm manager of department store. Uh, three words describe me. I'm intelligent, uh, hardworking, and single. <laughs> Good morning, All everyone. right. My name is uh, Kwaku Osei, and I'm from Deloitte Consulting, where I founded a community practice focused on entrepreneurship and innovation. So it's a pleasure to meet all of you. Um, three words to describe me. Entrepreneurial? Ghana. <laughs> the previous African Cup champions. <laughs> and World Cup uh, soon-to-be participants. <laughs> uh, so three words to describe me uh, would be entrepreneurial, uh, creative, harmonious. Now, do we have anyone else that's, uh, that's come in a little later? Has everyone had a chance to speak? Hello, my name is Sophia, and I'm from Minnesota. Deep Prince, but uh, originally from Somalia. I'm just here to, uh, as a guest, I'm not one of the delegates. I'm a student um, at University of New Hampshire, studying uh, development policy. So I was just excited to learn this uh, positive information compared to what I learned from my classes, which is really sad and Africa needs help and all that. So I'm so proud of all of you guys from Africa and we'll work together. Thanks. Three words. Three words. Um, motivated, persistent, ambitious. Yeah. 
So is that everyone that, that needs to and wants to speak? Anyone else want to grab the mic to say? Yes, ma'am. You can close us out. Uh, Jose Costa from Mozambique. Um, the, um, I live in Syracuse. I am um, an entrepreneur. I'm a scholar of higher, higher education. That's my specialty. And I, three words, rhythm, poetry, <coughs> and love. Thank you. I think this is the last one. My name is Jacqueline Cole. I am a public diplomacy desk officer for West Africa and also program coordinator for Young African Leaders Initiative. Three words to describe myself, technically for citizen of the world. Wonderful. There's one more? Oh, fantastic. Let me hand over the mic. Hi, my name is Prudence Okwishatsi. I'm from Rwanda. I'm a recent graduate in political economy, um, researcher at the Heritage Foundation here in DC. Three words to describe myself. Um, caring, loving. <laughs> I'll take it, thank you. <laughs> Excellent. So does everyone feel like they've got a little bit more of a chance to get to know each other? Remember a couple of names? The Americans? How we, we, can, uh, we can do a quick one if we want to go around. Let's uh, start over here. Hi, um, my name is Rakia Babaka. And I'm originally from Ethiopia, and I, I'm a program, program manager uh, for National Democratic Institute, focusing in Central and West Africa, primarily working on Nigeria. So um, three words that describe me, I'm very passionate, I'm very vivacious, and hard worker. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Huda Ibrahim, uh, originally from Ethiopia, but I was born and raised in DC. I am an intern for Lions Africa. Uh, three words to describe me. Um, curious, uh, adventurous, and a Georgetown Hoya. Good morning, everyone. My name is Leah Mushi. I am from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, um, but I'm here on behalf of the Waterport um, MC Consulting uh, Partnership. Um, three words to describe me would be enthusiastic, understanding and excited. I'm Tom Jenton, I'm with the Africa Bureau Public Diplomacy Office of the State Department. And in, instead of describing me, I'd like to describe how I feel right now, <laughs> impressed by you. Oh. Terrific. Oh. <laughs> um, I'm Lydia G. Oh. oh, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Ladies first. Take it away. I'm Lydia Jean. I'm a college student. Um, I'm an intern at Meridian. I'm average height. Um, <laughs> um, uh, smart. Work hard. Excellent. I'm Chris Grant. I am from Boston, Massachusetts. And I go to Syracuse University as well. I just graduated. Um, three words to describe me are very curious entrepreneurial and effective. Go ahead. Uh, my name is Bui Ghani. I'm a student. I'm studying law. I'm an intern here at Meridian. And three words would be short, dark, and handsome. <laughs> <laughs> so my name's Mar Martina Fogwe Fongyen from Cameroon, but living here. Uh, working with CHF International Senior Program Officer for Africa. Three words, interested, concerned, and hungry. Thank you. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, I'm Lee Lang. I'm originally from Ethiopia and Eritrea, so I'll represent Eritrea here, <laughs> lacking representation. <laughs> um, I'm sh I work for Meridian, um, mostly handling government conferences. I'm short, <laughs> helpful. And I like to learn and know. Um, my name is Danielle Duran Baron. I'm originally from Brazil. 
um, but I'm based here in DC. I work for Mortina, SCHF International. I'm a senior communications specialist. Three words about me. Um, I'm talkative. Uh, I am restless. And I'm a mom. <laughs> Hi, I'm Paige. I work at Meridian. <laughs> yes, you all know me. <laughs> Um, let's see, I am artistic, um, passionate, and loving. Oh. Uh, my name is Alana Remo. I do social media for Meridian. Um, I am also passionate, motivated, and excited. Hi, my name is Kristen Kahn. I'm the public affairs officer at the U.S. Embassy in Dakar. Um, I'm actually here on vacation visiting my family in the U.S., but had to take off a couple days to be with all of you, our three young African leaders from Senegal and Guinea-Bissau, but also all of you. Three words, mother, Californian, optimistic. Wow. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Andy Rabins. I'm a uh, youth advisor at the State Department. I focus in the Middle East and, and North Africa. And I guess three words to, to describe how I'm feeling right now and over the last couple of days would probably be inspired, uh, awestruck, and energized. Wow. Um, I'm Sarah. I'm a political science student. Um, this summer I'm working with Meridian and I'm working in Congress. Um, three words, I guess. I'm a volunteer. Um, I'm artistic and a little clumsy sometimes. <laughs> Good morning. I'm Meg. I'm the director of Meridian's Global Service Leaders Program. Um, I am a mother, an idealist, and I think African in another life. <laughs> Good morning. I am Andrea. I'm the. <laughs> Cleveland, Ohio, originally, and have lived in Washington most of my adult life. I am emotional. I am. <laughs> <laughs> they know me. Uh, multilingual, and I am having such a good time. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour. Okay, so uh, I'm Andrew. Uh, I'm obviously with Meridian. So three words to describe me. Um, I'm a talker, as, as most of you know. Um, I'm very inspired by all of you. Uh, and also, I'm a Southerner. Good morning. Um, I'm Heather Haynes, Program Director at Meridian. I am happy. I am patient for the most part. And I am a Texan. Good morning. I'm Zach. Uh, I'm from... I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, I'm a, I am an intern with uh, Meridian's uh, Global Connect. I am uh, energetic, uh, enthusiastic, and musical. All right. <laughs> Virginia, doing my job. <laughs> All right, I think we have one more gentleman at a the table there. Hi, my, my name is Abraham. Um, I'm an operations officer at the National Democratic Institute. Uh, two words to describe me. <laughs> Curious and African. All right, so uh, everybody, I would like you to put your hands together and give your, yourselves a very big round of applause. All right, so now do you feel like you have a chance to get to know everyone in the room a little more? Yes. Excellent. 
So we're going to do a, a, another exercise where you guys get to talk a little more with each other. Um, we are going to form some groups. So you're already in tables. So um, get ready. This is, this is going to be your group. Each group has a number. Um, I'm going to give you two questions to discuss. Uh, and you're going to have about 10 minutes each to discuss those between yourselves. I want you to pick one person to come up and present at the end. Um, and then we're going to share back uh, your answers with the group. Does that make sense to everyone? All right, so on your tables, you should have big flip charts of paper. You should have beautiful colored pens. You should have post-it notes and all sorts of good stuff. So get creative. This is your chance to draw and to write and to make some beautiful presentations. So the first question. The first question that I, I want you guys to have a think about here is, um, is what you've learned so far on this trip. So I know that you've spent a lot of time together and hearing from a lot of people, uh, and you're about to go off um, and, and meet some other great people and have these terrific experiences. Um, what I'd like you to, to talk among yourselves uh, about right now is um, what you've learned that will change how you operate when you go back home. So you've got about 10 minutes. Um, there are two questions, so have a think about this one first. Share your experiences, have a chat. There's plenty of people that can come around and, and have a chat to you as well, and uh, then we'll move on to the next question. So take it away. All right, is everyone with me? So just to give you a heads up, we're running up against time. I want to make sure that you do have a, a bit of a break. Um, so we're only going to do one question this morning. Um, I'll give you the other question as we wrap up, and you can have a think about it, and if you want to answer it over your time here, very welcome to do so. So uh, again, um, you have three minutes total to present. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to time you, and uh, as the timer goes off, you're going to get hooked off stage. So uh, take it away. Sure. Uh, again, my name is Jared Ellis. Uh, I didn't explain what I do. I'm an electrical engineer for a company in the United States. I do primarily IT, IT and network solutions for this company. Uh, but in any case, about what we do, uh, what we did when we talked about is basically uh, everyone in this room came here with the purpose of networking and, and, and trying to find out what, what, what some of the barriers of entry were in their particular markets and, and their particular countries. And, and, and essentially what we have is our primary, uh, our primary task or primary uh, take home message that we've gathered since we've been here is that, you know, it's all about building your network. And, and what we have in this in this room is a, is a lot of human capital. There's a lot of talented people in this room. And, and one thing that happens a lot in the United States when we, when we start you know, interacting with folks who are in our similar business fields, we, 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 we tap into those resources that are present and, and, and in front of us to help us along or further our careers. Um, so with that being said, what we were looking at is, you know, understanding your particular environment, understanding your, your particular, um, you know, your, your market, your niche, or, or whatever it is that you, you're, you're producing or, or trying to market and sell, and, and then knowing how to understand that you don't have to face that risk alone. Um, myself and my colleague at the table both mentioned two things that we observed yesterday during the opposite sessions um, while we were in, I was in the business and, and he was in the social, and, and essentially what we gathered was that, you know, people were looking outward to, to, to have their problems solved. And, and if someone right next to you was having a problem that you had solved already, this, then, then what's wrong with helping that person and what's wrong with using each other in the room? So, so, so specifically in, in the business section, um, uh, we, they were talking about access to capital and how do you get money to, to move your business along? And, and, uh, and one of the things that I, that I think is apparent within this room, it just as an outside observer, is that a lot of people here are, are, are doing well for themselves. So maybe the capital is in this room. You know, maybe, maybe there's some way that you can form your own bank and, and make your own ways to get access to money. You know, but at the same time, from a social aspect, you know, maybe you need some help designing your website. Well, is, do you know someone in this room that has a website development company? I think there are a few people here that are in technology. So essentially, um, what it's all about is, is, is building your network. And I think that is the take home message that I kind of gather and, and uh, knowing how to manage your risk and knowing that you don't have to take those risks alone. 
I hope I represented my table well. Um, we, we had a brief second to talk about this. If anybody's got any questions, I'll open the floor. That's excellent, thank you. You, uh, you had, I, 32 seconds. that was almost perfect. I started okay. your timer a little later. Uh, let's, uh, let's get the next group up. I'll take your mic. Thank you. All right, here you go, and I'm starting your time now. Okay, good morning. I represent the G8, known as the Group 8. <laughs> um, um, so basically, some of the things that we've learned, and I do apologize because of a lack of sleep. Um, last night, the sleeplessness that I have, so I feel a bit lethargic this morning, so just bear with me. Is number one, we, uh, things that we've learned is about your audience, it's about being customer oriented, um, and that is something that our group has learned that they wanna take back. It's also about networking, understanding the value of the network. Um, as the group previously elaborated on that, we fully agree with that. It's also about, we realize that we actually have universal problems. It doesn't matter where you're from, which part of the continent or which part of the world you're from. And if you have universal problems, what better way to start this developing partnerships? Because it's only once you understand a problem that you can start solving a problem, right? And then you have to think big, okay? We have to think big. We have to think beyond just where we come from. We have to push boundaries, um, right? If you go beyond this planet, please do so. Um, so thinking big is crucial for young African leaders. Um, and also the thing about open-mindedness. You know, we had to learn about different cultures. We had to understand, we also had to be willing to learn. So if we are looking at thinking big, working together, forging um, strategic partnerships, we need to understand and have an open mind to accept different cultures. So from my side, that's all I want to say. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Thank you very much. So we're hearing about connections, community, and open-mindedness. Who's up next? Yeah, sure. Move it around to where you can, where everyone can see. All right, your time starts now. Good morning, people. I'll just share what we've learned from this experience in a summary of points. The role of social media has come up. The role of social media have, has come up, and we've realized that we can use it for business not just for social activities. We've also learned the cultural diversity that is all over in this room, in, back at home, and even in this country. The survival trap. If you have a good business strategy, you can, su you can survive the, the business trap. And we also learned that Africa can shape the future of this world. We need to use the opportunities that we have to change what we can change. <laughs> we need African solutions to African problems. As an electrical engineer by training, I've learned that people, when they talk about technology, they talk about the internet, they talk about mobile applications, mobile phones, and all that. But we forget the real essence of technology, investing in infrastructure. Talk about industries. If you use the Chinese model, you have company, uh, co uh, companies that have set up industries in China, and these people work for industries. In summary, we can say that the little you know and you do, know it and do it very well. People, punctuality is not a disease. <laughs> <laughs> In summary, as we go from here, we need to set up follow-up committees to follow up on what we shall have achieved from here. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, can you get yourself set up there? Thank you. You can just lean it. Yeah. Mic for you. 
Hello, hello. Hi, good morning. I represent table six, and these are the solutions we came out with. And I realized that from the two presenters, we have commonalities. For our point one, we realized that there is beauty in diversity. We have come from various countries with different backgrounds, different languages, different cultures, yet there is harmony in this room. We are able to live together, share tables, share rooms together. That is what we have learned in this conference. Secondly, we realize that you and I are responsible for our continent. Oftentimes, we say, we have to do that. We have to do this. We know who are the we. Nobody will take responsibility. But if we take individual responsibilities, you and I are responsible, not the collective we, that nobody dissociates himself. We, we, we. So from today, when you go back to our, our various countries, it is you and I. We. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we've, we've also learned that we have to be creative and solution-oriented. From where I come from in Ghana, we have ideas, solutions on every situation. We have experts on all our problems. <laughs> from archaeology to zoology, we have experts. They just sit on radio and reduce everything to a talk shop. But from here, we have learned that when you go home, you should be creative. You should set targets. You should be solution-oriented. Enough. We know the problems. What the problems are? Education, health, poverty, infrastructure. We know. How do we move forward from there? Point four. We are inspired and motivated by our colleagues. Because... As I said, in diversity, we came here and we realized what other guys are doing elsewhere. So if you came here with a very small mind, you get inspiration that, no, if somebody is doing it in faraway Rwanda, Burkina, I can do it in Kiver, Ghana, Togo. <laughs> <laughs> so we've gotten inspiration and motivation from ourselves, which is a positive thing. Point five. We are enlightened on the positivity about Africa. Oftentimes, all that we hear about Africa, war, poverty, and all that. But from yesterday's presentation, the presenter made us aware of the positivity that is happening in Africa, which, unfortunately, the Western media is not interested in. And um, people living, not living in those particular countries are not aware of. But we got to know that yesterday, which is also a good thing that we will carry to our countries and share with our countrymen about the good things in other parts of Africa. In summary, we believe that there is hope for Africa. There is hope for Africa. Let's go back home and light the torch. Thank you. Well done. All right, who's up next? For you, sir? All right, your three minutes starts now. Take it away. Good morning again, everyone. My name is Garso from Central Africa. What have we learned from uh, our experience? Um, I, I want to say, I'll let you know, like, I'm pretty exciting to be here. That's the first thing. <laughs> we come from all around Africa. We are different country, from Francophone to Anglophone. What we have is one common point. Pardon me? Lose a phone tube. Sorry, sorry about this. Sorry. Yes, that's right. But we have one common point. We want to share our experience with American people. So that's why we got the result on this year. We did learn from the culture, cultural differences. We come all around the world, and we know, like, we got one point. We need to share. We need to move forward. So we need to break down the cultural differences gap we have in each country and also new vision. I did learn a whole bunch of stuff about new vision. How to business, how to use technology. Technology will be the future. We got to take it mind, technology a power, which is one of those things I did learn for our my program. The mindset matter. From Africa, uh, when you go all around Africa, people are different a mindset. But we got to set up the business mindset. So that means we got to... Uh, Keep in mind, this mindset is one of those crucial points we got to fight for. And also networking. Obviously, we do networking. 
We try to know each other, we try to talk to, and we keep, uh, for example, we have, a, we have a meeting, just few stuff. Uh, last night, I met few people from Francophone country, and they say, we better set up this kind of uh, group to say, we're gonna speak up to the Francophone people, which is one of those big ideas I get from here. How we can make people work together. I like this idea. Uh, power technology, I are already talking about this. Exchange of idea, yes, we have all bench come from all bench of different fields, sector, we gotta share our experience of our, our idea and so on. Initiative research method. Yeah, how is this point come up with the previous one, which is technology, research. We gotta do research, we gotta share information and all those things. Sense of belonging family. When we come over here, we feel like that's kind of a selfish thing. I put myself first on any case, but when we get down here, we belong to the group, to the family, such a family, which is one of those big things I did learn. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. All righty, who's up next? You're up? Okay. Hi, everybody. Uh, my voice is not so good, so I'm just going to let you read. <laughs> okay. Um, we've learned to be inspired by everything that's going on. We've learned to give more attention to the community. And this we have learned from our peers. We've learned the way Americans think and how they work. Why they insist on certain things. We've learned to be more aware of our own culture. We've learned that we are not alone. We are not the only ones pushing for an agenda. We've learned to be direct but respectful. And we've learned to integrate technology in every phase of our work. Thank you. Great summary. All right, we have the next group coming up. Let me reset your timer. Ready to rock? Yes. Um, Yes, it's still good morning. Good morning, I'm Fatma Tejalo from um, Sierra Leone. I'm representing group two. Um, these are what we have. We have seven, uh, what should I say, list of things that we think we've learned. Um, one of them is collaboration. We learned yesterday that we should all come together. We should not be, you know, think as one. You know, this business is not individualistic. It, you have to bring everybody together as a team and work together. We've also learned that money is not enough to grow a business. You have to have discipline. You have to have other skills that you bring together. We've also, we also learned that you need to know your facts, numbers, statistics, w to, bring, to make your business grow or to get your business going. We've also learned that you need to take risks. You should not be afraid to fail. Failure doesn't mean you can't move on again, you can't carry on. As we heard um, Steven or St Steve said yesterday, that he failed when he, was, when he had his bank, he failed, but lost $40 million, but he grew. He got up and he started again. So failure doesn't mean that you cannot move on. Oh, we've also, yeah. oh, okay. oh, of course, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we've also learned, they want to take a snapshot of me. Yes. <laughs> we've also learned that networking, <laughs> <laughs> networking is very important. <laughs> that we need, as of course, in this group, we have so many people that we're going to be networking with. In fact, this morning it was mentioned, which is one of the reasons why we were here introducing ourselves, knowing who does what and how we can actually come together, pull resources together, as somebody mentioned earlier. We've also <laughs> learned <laughs> that <laughs> you need tools such as, such as strategy, policy, transparency. That was very important, and I think we all understood and all, all understand what that means that you have to be transparent in what you do, or otherwise you're not gonna grow. Again, St Stephen mentioned that yesterday. Um, last, but not the least, I love this, dependency. Africa, we just so, we love, well, in the past, 
and I hope that's still in the past and it continues to stay in the past. We need to grow and learn to depend on ourselves and not always depending on the aid to come to Africa. We need to know that we can do it ourselves, as my brother said here el earlier, that it is I, I, and I, not what others can do for us, but what we can do for ourselves. So, like the Americans say, it's not what, what was it, what's the saying, the American saying again? It's not what your country can do for you. It's what you can do for your country. <laughs> so let us keep that in mind, and that's what we believe, and that's what we're gonna take home. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Fabulous. Okay, well, while this team's setting up, can I see a show of hands of who still needs to report back? We've got one team, two team. Is that it? Is someone hiding behind a pole? Okay, great for you, sir. And your time starts now. Um, our first uh, point was uh, that young people are powerful in turning imagination into common purpose. Uh, and so we, we can't wait on uh, all the people to, to take a cue on that. The second point is that technology is key. Uh, it's not just a utility, but it has to be integrated into uh, strategy in terms of business. Uh, third is that uh, there's power in uh, working as a team. I think this has uh, been uh, pointed out by a lot of by the other speakers before me. The other is that social media is powerful in uh, creating and empowering communities. And that it's, uh, it's not just a promotion, promotional tool. Uh, after that, they, uh, there is need to continue the mandate of uh, young African leaders uh, in our home countries. That is, it uh, shouldn't be an event, but it should be a process. Uh, it's very positive that this has been done for us and that the U.S. has been, uh, uh, has basically facilitated this, but... Uh, on our own, in our own countries, we can continue this by going to schools, uh, teaching other entrepreneurs, teaching other leaders, and uh, taking the initiative forward. Um, after that, uh, and this is related to the previous uh, point on the other page, we have to increase uh, channels of communication through social media and not rely on uh, just the traditional ones like uh, radio and television, because social media allows anyone to speak and uh, not seek permission of uh, editors and managers of radio stations. Um, then uh, the last point is on uh, PPP. Sorry, it's actually not last. But uh, that point is on public-private partnerships, that instead of us uh, shunning or being negative about uh, our governments and what they do, uh, we can use those as opportunities to work with them and uh, chart forward uh, the ideals that we want, uh, like freeing our countries of corruption and uh, making people more accountable. Um, and the last one, that uh, the opportunities to work with other Africans, I think this has been pointed out already, but uh, uh, there's, there's always a belief in terms of us seeing uh, other African countries through the lens of uh, international press. But when you come here, you see other Africans and realize there's a lot going on in Madagascar, in Ghana, in Kenya, in Ethiopia, in that the opportunities for us to work with these, uh, with these other Africans in the things that we're already working on. Thank you. Fabulous, thank you. All right, is this the last group? One more over here. Okay, great. You ready to go? All right, your time starts now. Hi. Um, I would like to stand here and share the thoughts of my group and myself. And I've realized that we've all came to a self-observation that are pretty much similar to each other. And I would although my handwriting might not be so big, but as you can see, we've listed down a few things. But that's not really what I want to do today. What I want to share is actually what we came up with is that Africa, we are all one. And we, although we've got our cultural uh, differences and boundaries between our countries, but we've realized that our similarities are a lot larger than our differences. And we can definitely say that we should take ourselves and take our values more seriously which indicates that we have a larger responsibility towards Africa. So I'm going to keep this short and say my final statement by if the Americans in the Western world could do it, and what I've seen today and over the past few days, we by far can do a lot better job than they did for the future <laughs> of Africa. Thank you very much.
Okay, this is the last group to present. Okay, I have this for you, sir. You're good. All right, your time starts now. Morning, everybody. I think the most important fact that has been left out the whole day is the main reason that we're here. Change in U.S. foreign policy on Africa means opportunity, people. It means that you can... <laughs> it means we can destroy everything. Uh, it means that in the way that you do your business, you can go back home, you can speak and engage with the U.S. Embassy locally, and from a regional perspective and from your own country perspective, let's start identifying what are the companies that have specific interests in your regions and in your countries. Then you do the investment seminars and conferences to try and attract investment into your countries and you as youth be the first port of call as a strategic partner for these companies. Hello guys, that's why we're here. Are we not? Yeah, from a social and business perspective. Secondly, it's the focus on regional integration and cooperation. Botswana, you can export your coal through Maputo. We have a deep sea port terminal, right? Richards Bay in South Africa is fully uh, utilized. Uh, Zimbabwe, Mozambicans have no issues with <laughs> Uncle Bob, so we can uh, mobilize funding for your projects in Zimbabwe. And these are the type of interactions that we need to be having. If there's one thing that has come through is that there's a lot of strength in Africa, which is not being tapped into, okay? Then thirdly, we need to do more to highlight African business culture, to, for people to understand that uh, the dynamics are such where, uh, for instance, in Mozambique, weddings and funerals are very, very important strategic tools for social networking. And this is how you will get your business done, okay? People need to know you before they hear whatever your pitch is, all right? Then it's more uh, in merging technology with our local environment and our conditions. So the use of word of mouth advertising is still the strongest form of advertising for SMEs and micro enterprises in most of our markets, okay? So you need to merge that with technology like Facebook, Twitter and so forth. Then it comes more on self-belief, uh, self-empowerment and uh, building not only strategic partnerships, but also having the right attitude. That when somebody asks you, listen, I have an idea, and so forth, look, just do it. And help them and assist them in executing on that. If somebody asks you for something, say to them, consider it done. And they can feel and get that sense that with youth, with young people, they can actually get that sense of getting something done. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. So everyone's had a chance to present and share back? All right, so just to wrap up, guys, thank you so much for this morning. Um, I personally am incredibly honored to have had the chance to spend this time with you. Um, I know you're about to get spread out across the country uh, and then soon spread out back to your own home countries. Um, and I think certainly the thing that I've heard from, from everyone here today is that what you're doing here is building really strong connections with the US and building really strong connections with each other. Um, and with that, I would like everyone to give yourselves a big round of applause. Turn to the person sitting next to you. Thank you very much and uh, enjoy your break and enjoy the rest of your time here. <laughs>